Good morning, good morning. From the green tunnel that has been Oregon so far. Very beautiful. Sun shining through. No mosquitoes yet. So we're happy. We did 22 yesterday. We let Tick Shot catch up. And we'll do 28 today, possibly to make our Nero and the sisters still five miles. But if we don't, and we have to hike eight miles, not the end of the world. I gotta stop at Olali. I don't know how you pronounce it. For fuel today, it's a resort on the lake. And seems to be a pretty cool spot. We'll see what they got there. Nice view of Mount Jefferson. And I think we get out of the uh, green tunnel today into these burn areas, which will be interesting to see. I kind of, I kind of like them. I'm in a contrarian point of view when it comes to that, but I think they can be kind of beautiful and scenic in their own way. Other than that though, not too much to, uh, to fill y'all in on. I'm just cruising down this nice trail. Supposedly, I'm on a climb right now. Doesn't feel like it, which I don't mind at all. So I'm gonna keep hiking. And as always, I will see you down the trail. This is what I find cool about the burn areas. As you can see how, you know, at one point this is all destroyed and devastated, but if you look around, there's new growth everywhere. And one day, this will be one of those massive forests that I've been walking through for the last 60 miles. So while it's sad, it's kind of cool at the same time. It's the full life cycle, circle of life. My favorite movie ever. Drop it in the comments if you know. I'll give you a hint. Mufasa. Dude, I was thinking of the forest. This must have been from the fires last year. But it is ghastly. There is nothing. It's dead everywhere. Spooky. We can take a shower and then take another shower. That's it.
yet. You say? I feel like in real life that was gonna be a Good afternoon, y'all, from the forest of Oregon again. We went through quite a bit of burn, probably, I don't know, 20 miles worth. The Olali Resort was awesome. We chilled there for quite some time. That made for a good midday break. And now we're only like, I don't know, 25 miles from sisters we're doing a pretty big climb well it's honestly nine miles 2500 feet so it's just really extended but it's graded very nicely in traditional Oregon fashion we are one-fourth of the way down with the state it flew by really really fast and now we're just focusing on next resupply and then there's only man i think there's only three more resupplies after this one and then oregon's over just like that as quick as it started so pretty easy day in the sisters tomorrow i think we have 15 miles people say there's a lot of blowdown but wait till they get to the Northern Cascades because that's some blowdown. But we've just been chatting, chilling on trail. My pack busted today. So I gotta figure that out. I think I can stretch it, but I don't know how much longer it's gonna last. And the packs I want have a lead time of five weeks. So that's another equation I wasn't hoping to solve but other than that nothing new just hiking through the forest and about 10 miles away from camp so I'm gonna keep climbing and I'll see y'all there Yep. Oh my god. Yep. Oh, dude. Good morning from, I think, Three Finger Jack. And the sisters are out there in the distance today. There is quite a bit of blowdown. The people were definitely not lying. Whoa. And we're past most of it now. We're about 10 miles from Saintum Pass which is, I bet, the place where 
most people are hitching into Sisters and Bend because apparently McKenzie Pass is no good. Yesterday, honestly, some of the most beautiful, unique scenery I've seen on the PCT. A lot of people said Oregon was boring, but it's been just otherworldly. Like we were on this flat volcanic top staring at Three Finger Jack and the sisters. And it just looked so awesome. I had never seen that many dead trees in my life, which is crazy coming from someone who lives in Colorado, considering all the beetles out there that have just destroyed thousands of acres of forest. But here in Oregon, it's pretty wild. Like all this stuff is definitely growing back and it's green. But then you see the remnants of the old forest and some of it on those cliff sides were just thousands of trees. And it just, it looked like seriously, like Mars or a different planet. It was really cool though. Actually very beautiful. We stayed at an awesome lake. We had deer just wandering around our tents all night, just grazing and relaxing. And we were eating dinner and one even just came right up to us and kind of just hung out with us for a little bit. So it was a beautiful night. It got nice and chilly. So the mosquitoes didn't stand a chance. And we slept like, slept like babies. We slept really good. The night before was not so great because of the wind, but we slept in pretty late. So I got a solid 10 hours of sleep last night. So I feel really good today. Town day, it's gonna be good. I heard the pizza's good in Sisters. I think I'm gonna replace this blue roll that you see at the bottom of my pack to protect my pad with Tyvek. They've convinced me, weatherman and tick shot. I think it'll work pretty well. But other than that, just enjoying the scenery. There's even like these like perfect little hills, like little knob hills out there. And 10 miles, just gonna stroll along, listen to some tunes. All right, y'all, see you in sisters. Way to go, guys. Subaru's always stop. I'm kind of jealous about it. <laughs> 